Boston Celtics. At four, six, nine, number one. Thanks, everyone, for joining 2K Sports for this Wednesday evening presentation of the... And tonight, we're looking at two teams who make their living beyond the arc, Grant. Yeah, they love to shoot the three-point shot, and they do it effectively. And, of course, that means these two teams understand the importance of good spacing. They're great shooters on both sides, to be sure, but motion and ball movement are the real keys to their three-point attacks. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Caleb Martin out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Lowry in at the point guard position. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Tatum from long range. Rebound by the Heat. There's a minute 17 left to play in the first quarter. Adebayo a screen on Horford. Hero against Horford. Hero, no good. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. A nice shot by Brown. And we've seen Brown take more and more threes recently, becoming very confident in this shot. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Here's Martin. Yes, and it's Adebayo picking up the assist. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Williams, a screen on Hero. Brown with it, guarded by Adebayo. Over to the left wing. Horford passes to Brown. Back to Horford, just four to shoot. Late clock, the Celtics gotta hurry here. Williams finds Brown. Get there, get there. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. Celtics out in front. They lead by one. And quarter number two will get underway just after. Two. going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Yeah, showing grit on the glass is a good way to gain an advantage. They controlled the boards in the first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. And Grant, no team better than Miami at developing undrafted prospects. I mean, for key roles, too. You look at last year's playoffs, Struce, Martin, Vincent, Robinson. It's allowed Miami to stay on top in a salary cap-driven lead. Tatum and Williams are your small and power forwards. Derek White out there with Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Muscala in at the five, roaming the paint. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Lowry, the pass to Butler. Outside for Love. The three ball. Hits the trifecta. Love's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Feels like Jimmy Butler is getting better on how he finds the open teammates, really elevating his playmaking skills. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Muscala screen on Robinson. The drive by Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. The athletic swing man. I love whenever Tatum goes up with force off the drive. Oladipo against Brogdon. Driving inside. And it's Butler with the jam. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Hey, guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first-team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. At the line for two.
He's off on the first. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Williams has checked in for Muscala. Horford comes in for Williams. Brown, he's checked in for Malcolm Brogdon. And Smart subbed in for White. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. From the arc, Tatum with the block. Tatum makes it easy for his teammates with his defense. He's always a threat to block shots, and he can cover any part of the floor. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Tatum's got seven points here in the quarter. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. First half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Celtics. They're up by three. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks so much, Al, as you anchor that front court. What were you guys looking to accomplish in the first half? I mean, we're, you know, we're just trying to play with pace, you know, trying to dominate on the defensive end, get rebounds, uh, make it tough. Pace is key. Back to you. Appreciate it, Allie. Coming right back. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Man, is he getting it done today? He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. And you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And on the floor for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Lowry and Hero are the backcourt. Caleb Martin out there with Jimmy Butler. And it's Adebayo in at the five down low. Miami trailing. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Bowser, he's checked in for Boston. And Miami also making a switch. Love's checked in. A minute 22 left in the third quarter. Just three to shoot. Here's Butler. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Oh, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Yikes, that one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. A minute 15 left in the third. Hero against Brown. to the reverse layup and drops it in. Brown's got his second bucket on the night. Terrific initiative from the swing man. Brown is smart at understanding when to look to score inside. Now here's Butler. He's guarded closely. Can't get it to fall. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Brown. From the baseline. Out of bio with the rejection. Are, are we sure that Bam's not wearing a watch out there? Perfect timing. Hero, the pass to Butler. There's 21 seconds left to play in the third. Outside for Love. Four on the clock. Here's Lowry. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds now. Smart passes to Brown. from deep three-point range. And we've watched three so far in this one. Celtics out in front, up by five. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next.
And for Miami, they're shooting only 23% so far. Tatum and Williams are your small and power forwards. Derek White out there with Peyton Pritchard. And it's Horford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the Boston Five. Swatted by Horford in terms of defense. Now Horford up there amongst the top. Pass to White. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Robinson. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Now here's Adebayo. Defense is right there. Boston with a rebound. One eleven left in the fourth. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. An ascending superstar. Tatum has really honed in on what he does best on the offensive end. Jason Tatum at the line for two shots. on the first and that increases the lead to six Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Pritchard and Miami with a change here too Oladipo's checked in for Robinson and he's unable to get the second one Things aren't looking good here. I mean, they need points, and they need them now. Looking unlikely right here. That time ticking away. Brogdon, the pass to Tatum. 52 seconds left to play in the fourth. No good from outside. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Oladipo. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on White. Oladipo, a good free throw shooter, so well served to seek out contact and get to the line. The line for the Heat. Victor Oladipo, two shots. within five. Robert Williams checked in for Boston. Brown comes in for White. And Oladipo drops them both. Boston. And the Celtics call time here. They're in front by four. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth. with his guys saying quote just go out there and do your thing you know what needs to be done guys he has the utmost confidence in his players we'll see how they respond back to you good job there Ali thanks at the line Malcolm Brogdon at the line for two And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Yeah, from the stripe, Brogdon is exceptionally consistent. The defense fouled the wrong player, if you ask me. That's good. Going one of two from the line. Miami. And that puts him up five. Miami calls timeout. They're trailing by five. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. All right, guys, what do you think? 
They don't want to waste time here. If they can score fast enough, they can go back on D and try to get a stop instead of having to foul. We've got 33 seconds left in the game. Adebayo finds Hero. Launches it. That shot missing. So the Celtics will take it the other way. And he commits the intentional foul. First personal foul. Third team foul. He hits the first one. And that increases the lead to six. Al Horford has been in the league a long time and has had several stops. He's seen a lot of success everywhere he's gone. He's been a productive big man. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. They're trailing by six. 23 seconds left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. Yeah, act fast, but without mistakes. 23 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. Hero right now working himself into a lather, staying aggressive drawing the defense's attention. So Hero nails both of them. Boston. And Boston calls time here. They lead by four. 20 seconts left in the fourth quarter. seconds left to play in the fourth quarter and they foul intentionally that's what they have to do at this point getting a little desperate at this stage I mean the clock's the big factor at the line for your Celtics first free throw is good and that puts him up five and so both free throws good and it's a six-point ball game some padding here on the free throw line some good work and right here, they can't waste any time. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Malcolm Brogdon at the line for two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. Eight seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Robinson. Here's Vincent. Off target with the three. So we see the Celtics get the win here. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. As All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Jason, with you guys being such a young team, how do you continue to improve to reach your potential? Uh, we got to watch film. I mean, we did a lot of good things today. It's a lot of things we could do better. And uh, we just got to be focused, composed, play with a lot of poise, and uh, we'll be fine. Poise normally comes with experience, but because you're so young, you're finding it early. Congrats. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Barry, Grant.